use the data too. Yeah. yeah, if it was pouring, I'd be a little bit of a concern, but that's all right. Turn off, go to 43 and then 45. Okay. Make sure, making sure that that light turns off. You guys get some kind of weather updates at the one? Uh, then you'll test it at 41. When this red light turns on, you switch to the next and you repeat. AFN Steru, AFN Steru, uh, uh, America Jin no Gunji no Terebi. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, to, 
多分このビデオは AFN、ね、楽しみにしてもらって一緒に Hey, I'm Captain Garrett Snake Ellis, F-15C pilot, and I'm the assistant project officer for this particular training event. A little bit louder than that. Okay. Um, what is going on? Why are we here? So we're here uh, conducting an aviation training relocation uh, TDY to Suwiki Air Base. Uh, we bring six F-15C fighter jets to train with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Yeah, so this training provides a unique opportunity to prove some of our agile combat employment concepts. So what we've done with this particular training opportunity is brought less parts and less people uh, to an austere environment that doesn't have all of the facilities that we normally enjoy. And what that allows us to do is move more quickly and respond more quickly uh, without their traditional logistical footprint. And so overall, this allows us to prove some of the concepts that we're looking to validate uh, to be able to respond to contingency operations in the Indo-Pacific region. Yeah, so I feel pretty fortunate to be part of this particular uh, aviation training relocation event at Suwiki Air Base. Uh, what we've been able to do is work really closely with our Japan Air Self-Defense Force partners and integrate with them in a variety of mission types. And this has allowed us to kind of prove our interoperability and improve uh, the relations that we have with uh, such an important partner such as the uh, Jazz Def. Senior Airman Alyssa Hellman, Crew Chief. What's wider? 44th AMU. Well, it's a new flight line. It's a new area that we're getting used to with less equipment. So we're out here getting these jets up, getting these pilots trained up. What was it like interacting 
it was a fun interaction like sitting here trying to understand trying to help them out the way they're helping us out we're out here to fix these jets get these pilots trained up and hopefully make it home i think i've became a better crew chief being able to comprehend what the japanese are saying trying to get the refuel done in a mannerly time without stuttering around not understanding what's going on there is a con communication barrier whenever the americans and the japanese are talking together but underneath the jet it's more of a it's more hand signs of all right let's go all right you're done there hasn't been really any barriers when we use hand signals it's just across the nation that it's normal for us to use a lot of hand signals towards each other because it's easier for us 